Early failures you had in your entrepreneurial career that you said you failed miserably. What lessons did you learn from that and how quickly did you rebound from those experiences? Well, I rebounded by leaving that to the side, right? I was like, okay, um, yeah, maybe I'm not, maybe this is not for me. And I just pivoted back into, well, actually that's sort of when I was still in, in college and I was working and, and going through school. And that's sort of when I went into the, you know, accounting HR sort of space that was like, okay, maybe I should just like go get a proper job and like do things the normal way type of thing. Um, what I learned that I, I didn't learn at the time, you know, it was later that I realized that relationships and networking are more important than actually knowing, um, not to say that you don't need to know what you're doing, but that really having those relationships, building, you know, building your network, making sure that you have a lot of people that, um, that know who you are and know how you can help them is, is important. Um, I sort of, you know, realize that you, uh, you can't sort of just pass a test and have competence in a space that you actually have to sort of really, um, learn and, and experience, you know, whether it's from others or kind of learning just sort of on the side through, through reading or whatever, um, that that's what you, you want to do. And, um, but it didn't dissuade me from ever wanting to do anything different again. Right. I was like, Hey, I, I tried real estate. Um, I had some success in it, but it's really hard when you're 21 and you have no network no connections. I didn't understand. And so part of it too, is I realized that there was a cultural and I'll use cultural in just a very loose way that there was sort of this, these unsaid norms and behaviors that I didn't even know existed, um, that come into play when you, when you are in the work world. And so I was living in a community that was, um, you know, predominantly white, predominantly sort of much older than me. First of all, I'm 21, right? So most people are in, in that field were in their 30s and 40s. Most of the buyers were in their 30s and 40s. So there was just this big sort of disconnect. Um, and I sort of, you know, realized too that, um, yeah, that you just sort of really had to build that trust. And I had not, I didn't have, I didn't build trust because I didn't, even have like I was brand new into the country right I'd been here a couple of years and we didn't really know a lot of people so I didn't have like a network of trusted people that could help me uh be successful and so yeah it was a it was a good learning and um you know I I think it sort of reiterated that okay you're you're smart and you can do things you can pass exams that are hard for people and that's not the only piece right like there's there's uh, multiple things that you have to sort of bring into into the space to be successful. But all of that kind of started to connect over time. I love it. And it's, um, so it's great to be able to, I guess, have that fallback or some of those lessons and that experience and then go into a corporate environment and start to kind of put the pieces together. It was that famous, like Steve quote, Steve Jobs quote, where you look backwards and things begin to kind of make sense. That's my interpretation of it, basically rather than say what you actually said, but that's kind of what it kind of comes down to because when you think about you being 21, and my mind goes back to what you said, which really stood out to me actually as a 10 year old, flying around the world by yourself. That's a, that's a level of freedom and audacity for a 10 year old to kind of have. Thank you.